Greetings, friends. Once again, it's an honor to welcome you back to Rex Garage. The title of this video today is called Reclaiming the Garage. As you can see, my garage is pretty much in disarray. I've been pretty busy lately and I really haven't had time to clean up. You can see my uh, floor needs to be swept. I've got a number of things out on the floor like my lift stands, uh, my lawn tractor lift. All these things need to be put away. I've already put quite a few things. This garage was actually much worse than this about an hour ago. My bench was totally cluttered. It's nice to have a bench, but boy, they fill up pretty quick with junk. Now, normally, um, I do, in fact, keep my tools where they're supposed to be. I pride myself on that. Uh, when I was training the young people before I retired, um, I always used to stress that to them, to keep your tools organized. I used to watch them. They spend more time looking for a tool than actually working. Well, that's kind of the state I'm in right now. That's why I'm stopping what I'm doing. Right now, I'm working on this uh, lawn tractor. Uh, I'm going to be posting a video on that. It keeps dying every 10, 15 minutes. And I found the problem, and I'm going to be posting a video on how to fix it. Now, a lot of times, my... Uh, nephews will come and want to work on their cars in my garage so i never allow them to put anything away they want to put things away but they just don't put them where they belong and once my nephews uh, try to uh, put my tools away i can't find anything so i tell them leave everything out on the bench wherever and i'll put them away when i have time as you can see here, what I just finished doing was throwing all the tools I found around the shop on one of my carts. And I'm going to be taking this cart around to my tool chests and putting these tools in the drawers that they belong. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and sweep up this floor. Sometimes you'll get involved in a project that requires a lot of tools. And you start working on something and, and you might start out with all your tools organized and you keep grabbing more and more tools. Next thing you know, you've got tools on the floor, you're laying on tools, you can't put your hand on a tool you just had five minutes ago. So when you get yourself in a situation like that, just stop, bite the bullet, put your tools away, and then restart in on the job. And like I say, that's where I'm at right now. I started working on this, uh, lawn tractor and I couldn't put my hand on a tool right now if my life depended on it. So that's where I'm at. I'm stopping. I'm reclaiming the garage and then we'll resume work. So that's all I've got friends. I want to thank you very much for watching Rick's Garage. Before I go, I will post two videos to your left. Hopefully they'll be something you find of interest. Feel free to click on them. And to your right, as always, will be a picture of my avatar in the form of my trusty German Shepherd. He's still with me after all these years. He's 10 years old now. So feel free to click on that if you wish to subscribe to my channel. So we thank you once again for watching. We hope to see you all very, very soon.